Saturday morning edition, questions and answers. Rob Palmer, Conor Kelly. <laughs> Let's go. Question time. Right. Uh, first one is from Kieran 182 favourite of ours. Uh, he goes, the final, Dear the Final Hurt Quartet, it's a quintet if you include Super Executive Chief Content Manager Steve. But uh, yeah, he goes on to say, We certainly do. Yes, we do. <laughs> he's good. He's, he's yeah, things. Shame on you, Kieran. Uh, I hope this YouTube comment finds you all in good stead. I have a few questions for you this afternoon. Last week, United the West Brom underperform under Tony Pulis considering the squad available to him. Do you think the same can be said for Stoke? They have excellent players in all positions and I have always thought Mark Hughes is probably the best of Ferguson's protégés. They're not scrapping for points down at the bottom of the table, but I think they should be doing a lot better. Secondly, what do you think has hindered the development of Mario Götze? I thought Götze was a far superior talent in comparison to Neymar back in 2012, but since then Neymar has become a top three player in the world behind striking compatriots. And Guts has regressed to the level of beats by Dr. Dre Promoter rather than boring superstar. It's <laughs> a great comparison. Uh, where are we starting? Protégés? I think Protégés, yeah. I think uh, the, 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 the genesis of that question is are Stoke underperforming? You could be a smart ass and say Laurent Blanc is a protégé of Alex Ferguson. Yeah, he, could, he is. He, could. he got a champion now with Bordeaux and, and PSG. Yeah, that's true. That's Steve true. Bruce is Steve Bruce. Yeah, well, that's... A remarkably consistent championship manager. Yeah, yeah, but really shit when it comes to the Premier League. Yeah, no, you know, he's really, he's really, he's really bad at that part. Sparky, yeah, Sparky would be, the, uh, would be the, the standout. It's uh, yeah. apart from Paul. Also, um, just on Bruce briefly, it's kind of hard to believe he was a professional footballer at some point considering his shape. He's an atrocious yeah. shape. <laughs> no, he really... Yeah, like, he's in shape because round is a shape. Yes. <laughs> I think he's just continued the 90s, the steadfast 90s diet. Yes. Yeah. 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 Who's the other one? There was, there was an Everton goalkeeper recently on um, an yeah, XFL. Yeah, I'm right. guessing it was never said because he's the only former. Huge. Anyway. <laughs> wow. He was usually yeah. played though. Uh, anyway. So Stoke. yeah, Stoke, are they underperforming? No. Um, no, I don't think they are. No, yeah, I think they're doing actually pretty well. I don't least. think they've got excellent players in positions. I think they've got names that you recognise from continental football mm. midweek Champions League games. Yeah. They're not great players. No. Well, they're good. They could have been better, and a lot of them are now washed up. Yeah, like Affile. Fully. Yeah. Affile or Affile is probably is terrible. I mean, yeah, Bojan just signed an extension with uh, Stoke. Note he isn't moving to a bigger club. Yep. He hasn't been linked for any moves that I know of. Arnautovic so. is excellent he in just very wasn't... short spells. Yes. Oh, really short spells. Yeah. Like he could be so good. 30 seconds per match short yeah. spells. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I just misinterpreted this. Maybe Bojan just loves a rainy night in Stoke and a Tuesday. Maybe. Maybe he's just happy he's somewhere where he can play. I'm not, that, that's yeah. not to do Bojan yeah. down. I'm just saying they look great. The, the, the goals that they score sometimes you're kind of like, oh yeah, Stoke really have it all going on. You're like, no, wait, no. Not very many people want Affleck. No. They still don't want Affleck. No. So, he's okay. Yeah. And they I also have like Eric Peters yeah. playing left back and he's a shit house and well. an asshole. Jeff Cameron as yeah. well. Don't forget him. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I think if next season they don't kick on, that'll be, um, that'll be bad. Then Although, be underperforming. he's got plenty of scope now he has to go to the board and kind of say, you know, well, they've already, really ca do they've already cashed out yeah. for him in Boulia from Porto. Yeah, so, it was big work. Beautiful strike at the weekend. Yeah. Anyway, next part of the question. Go to what's in the development? That's, um, Moving to Bayern. Yeah, yeah, big time, big time. It's yeah. simplistic, and I think it's true. I think it was it's a little bit stretching the mark to say he had as much potential, if not more, than Neymar. Because to be honest, I've never really thought of him highly. I've never really I, fancied him. Oh, I he definitely him. did. I mean, remember when when Neymar was coming to Europe? Mm. That was just that was just my blind uh, skepticism, though, because I was uh, naturally judging Neymar and only he's having foreign. Fancy Connor, isn't that right? Yeah. yeah. See, that was that was when I was uh, yeah. I was, <laughs> That was still in the early stages of the podcast and it wasn't so informed of football. So. They're, diff they're different footballers as well. Yeah. They always were. Like, I know I can see what, what, what your point is, bring, bringing the two of them together, but it's definitely moving to Bayern. Moving to Bayern, not necessarily being an automatic starter. Injuries, clashes with Pep, which never ends well for players who clash with Pep. No. I think that's some Pretty much it, yeah. I yeah, still think he's going to be a fantastic player. I stand by it. He just has to move out of there and not unless, move to Liverpool. Unless, yeah, unless Carlos Schlotty gets the best out of him. Carlo I mean, the arm is coming around the shoulder and it's not Carlo. the Ari style. Yeah. You know, have you signed on with my agent? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's more of the libel. It's yeah. more of the... Yeah. The fatherly love. Yeah. Yeah. I like what yeah. we saying, have you signed on with my accountant? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a good legal team. Yes. Okay. He actually does. To be fair, though, yeah. Carlo, yeah, Carlo is the type of manager who come in and get the best out of it. Yeah. So... Uh, come in and give him a lecture in, like, um, like, I don't know, French philosophy or something. And then he'll... Rejuvenate his career. Well, while we were talking about Brian, it didn't come up on the pod. I meant to mention it. Um, Holger Badstuber broke his oh, leg at the game, weekend, yeah. which is which yeah. is obviously horrific because he's only come back. I still remember your point saying that he was. I think he said he was the most naturally talented defender at the club at the yeah. time they won the treble. Fabulous, like yeah. yeah. And I always had a dream that 
Ancelotti would come in and hug, ah, a, had a dream. hug a bad steer, but would play left back and David Alaba would move into centre midfield. Yeah. Oh, and I thought that that would, that would that naturally kind of... Because I know bad steer can play centre half as well. And then you would either have Alaba playing as a left winger or as a centre midfielder. And it is. the left side of Alaba and bad steer, It is coming though, isn't it? Like, Alaba isn't going to move. He is going to move for the forward. He's going to do something. Look what he did with Angel Di Maria. Yeah. I mean, what? I can't even remember what I thought of him before Ancelotti came along. Yeah. Yeah. No, I really can't remember. I thought he was a I just I thought, thought he was, he was, no, I thought he was a, one, I thought he was a one dimensional cheap like just one like basically one dimensional. Too thin, like, too frail. Yeah. Not enough physicality even for And then like, yeah, 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 absolutely. Slithering his way all over the Parc yeah, de France. That's it. Have we answered? And then the last one is just uh uh Skulls World Class, wouldn't you agree? No. No. Good. Not World Class. Sorry, James. Sorry, James, yeah. James Heinrich. I don't think I don't think he was even near to work us at any point in his career. No, yeah. not really. I think no. I think at the start when he was box to box, I think he was, he was certainly up there in terms of work class for that position. Yeah. But I don't think he was like I don't think he was one of the leading examples of how uh, to play a box to box. Like if you look at his la- his latter career, he played as a deep lying playmaker, and, and he was brilliant at that. Yeah. Oh, but, he was one of my favorite players. Yeah, but like incredible. Was he as good as Pirlo or Xabi Alonso? Who else could I think of? You know, that kind of tag world class has been cheap in, yeah. I think, in yes, recent that's... years as well. And that it's not it's not doing skulls down to not say he's world class, but he's not he's not gonna really be, he's not gonna be remembered outside I'd say the English speaking world. And a lot has been made of Chavi and Iniesta saying, Oh, if you have to take one, you know, remember the, the two finals they had between two thousand nine and two thousand eleven. A lot of people saying, Oh, we would take skulls, but when you look at the United Squad, who the hell else were they gonna say? Yeah. You couldn't say nobody, and there's nobody else that well, could have been picked. There is England's line. There's a, yeah, there's a, <laughs> uh, I actually do remember Chavi saying that it was years before. I think it was yeah. Euro 2004. Yeah, Euro 2006. Like, yeah, one of those terrible pre tournament interviews. And he was pretty decent. Ah, yeah, stage, ah, yeah. yeah. So. But like, Skulls is the only player who even vaguely would play a Barcelona style of football, even just vaguely. Yeah. And you'll also know that he's famed for pinging the ball long, yeah, which like, oh. would not suit the style of football they played. So it's a stupid comment that had to be made. Yeah. Because the last thing you want to do is write the, write the pre-game speech for Ferguson by saying, yeah. none of the United players will get into the team. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, sorry, James. Ones. And then just I want to say briefly, oh, yeah. this is something <laughs> close to my heart. On Thursday video, Susan Bosenberg, hello. You commented saying baseball is a sport. No, it isn't. Sorry, it's a game. It's a game. It's a game. We've just uh, found a, a, a huge pop- population. We get, you, get, you get a lot of people yeah. saying that it is a sport. They seem to be pretty adamant about it. It's not, it's a Vast game. cognitive delusion. Well, they do have performance in and drugs, so it must be a sport. One of the things that I found out today... No, they certainly count tennis. One of the things that I found out today, right, this just sort of furthers my dislike for the sport, right, um, is that there's this fella called Pete Rose. Huge, yeah. like, he was great coach, great player, right? Player. Hitter of the ball. and um, Swinger of the stick. He was good, and he's been... He was sacked and banned for life from the MLB, and he's exempt from the Hall of Fame because he was betting on games. But don't the MLB now have a partnership with DraftKings, which is a... <laughs> betting company he's like a fantasy yeah it's a fantasy yeah, thing yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. it just makes Probably. no sense to me a bit contradictory but yeah. Real, Real, contradictory. imagine there. that a major organisation being contradictory with money rules are there until like sponsorships money becomes involved yeah, yeah. that's all I've got to say sorry Susan yeah. love you really watch again thank you yeah do watch again <laughs> we, we don't often talk about baseball but it's, not, it's very really positive uh, although Moneyball is great the book I haven't seen yeah. the movie the book is really really, really good movie's it's really interesting too, yeah. Um, yeah so uh, if you've got more questions uh, leave them in the section below um, and also respond if we've answered your question to what you think because it'd be nice to get a bit of back and forth going on that possibly the Stoke one I could see a lot of mileage out of that and I look forward to your abuse over skulls uh, subscribe <laughs> to Final Third TV on YouTube follow us on Twitter at the final underscore third and thanks for watching